Hey, hey, and welcome to 21 Days of Advent with Liquid Church. We're so glad that you've decided to join us this Christmas season as we count down the days to the birth of our King together. And we just hope you'll, you'll join us each day over the next three weeks right here on the Liquid Church app to, to lean into what God has for us as we celebrate and anticipate Jesus' birth. And that's really what Advent is, is all about. The word simply translated means the coming or, or the arrival. And as a church, what we're doing is we're joining millions of Christians around the globe as we slow down our lives and prayerfully await the coming of Jesus' birth. We're, we're kind of clearing out the clutter in our lives to create more room in our hearts to meet and to fall in love with God all over again. Uh, for me and my family, there's always this sense of expectation and excitement when it comes to Christmas, but it doesn't start in December like normal people. Uh, for us, it starts all the way back on September 1st when, when this guy makes his entrance into our household decor. Don't judge us. Yes, we start counting down to Christmas all the way in September. It's embarrassing, I know. Uh, but this countdown clock is, is kind of like a family heirloom passed down to us from my wife's childhood. And all fall along as we walk by that little clock, we're reminded of how close we are to Christmas. And the anticipation starts as soon as we see the clock come out. And that's what Advent does. It's like bringing out a clock. It's a, it's a daily reminder that the thing we've all been waiting for is nearly here. But what is that thing that we're actually waiting for? Is it just presents under the tree? Is it our in-laws finally leaving after Christmas? Thank God. Or is it more than that that we're waiting for? The very first book of the Bible, Genesis, gives us a hint about what we're anticipating and awaiting for in the Advent series. And here's what it says. So the Lord God banished them from the Garden of Eden, and he sent Adam out to cultivate the ground from which he had been made. After sending them out, the Lord God stationed mighty cherubim to the east of the Garden of Eden, and he placed a flaming sword that flashed back and forth to guard the way to the tree of life. Back at the beginning of the world, you and I, we were created to live in harmony of relationship with God. We were designed to, to live in the garden, perfectly connected to our God. But instead of that world, we chose through our own actions to remove ourselves from God. And, and ever since then, there's been this deep longing in our hearts to return back to that moment. And I don't know about you, but every Christmas season, I can, I can just feel it. I know that this time is meant to help me focus in on my relationship with God, but so often I let the busyness of everything around me, everything I have to accomplish over the next three weeks, push me further and further away from Him. Instead of closeness and, and proximity every day of my life, I can often feel loneliness and emptiness. And that's why we need Advent now more than ever. Today is the day that we can make a commitment to refocus our, our hearts and our minds into the things that really matter. The same God from the garden, the same God that left heaven that first Christmas to chase after us. And that's the hope that we have. That's the longing of our hearts. And that's what we're celebrating and awaiting this Christmas season. So let's take the next 21 days to reconnect with our God, to, to fall back in love with Jesus. Uh, before we leave and end our time together, um, each day we're going to take a second and just give you a prayer that you can take with you on your day. Um, our time with God doesn't end when this video ends. It, it continues throughout every moment of our life. And the scriptures teach us to pray without ceasing. So here's your prayer to start preparing your heart for the hope of Advent. Here it is. God, create in me a longing for you. Throughout your day today, I hope you'll keep reciting that prayer. God, create in me a longing for you. When things get busy at home, crazy at work, or you're feeling overwhelmed, God, create in me a longing for you. Maybe you'll recite it with me right now. God, create in me a longing for you. Keep leaning into his presence this Advent season. And we're going to see you guys tomorrow right back here in the app for day two.